If, you're, uh, if you use a computer or a smartphone for banking, I'm, I'm sure you do at home, you're not alone. Half of Americans are now using online banking as a regular basis, and mobile banking is really on the rise. So at the end of the day, it looks like it's here to stay. And here to tell us uh, some safety tips about this, it's very important while banking online and on the cell phone is Byron Peterson. He is the AARP Lead Fraud Watch and Network Volunteer and our buddy Bruce Adams, the General Counsel at the Connecticut Department of Banking. Thank you both uh, for joining us here today on CT Style. We do appreciate it. Pleasure being here. And uh, we have to shout out to Byron's AARP tie. <laughs> I, 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 we've chatted about three or four times. I'm still waiting for my tie. I got, I'm got. i stuck with this thing today. So. Well, I'll, uh, we'll get you one. Okay, after the show. After the show. Let, let's talk about that. But 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 uh, a lot of people are now using uh, mobile smartphones for yes. their banking and online banking. But is it as safe as traditional going into the, into the branch and, and doing the transactions there? It's a safe, it's a safe way to go, safe way to, to, to use uh, uh, the necessary equipment to do your banking. You just have to be cautious. Okay, and then Bruce, do you have any tips for this? Because, you know, I, I do a lot of my checks, I scan them with my phone or I, I pay for my car on my phone, but you still sort of have that sense of uncertainty and is this really going to the right place? Is it going to get lost somewhere through technology? Sure. Well, before you worry about where your information is going, one of the first things to worry about is where your phone is mm -hmm. so, and how secure it is. So one of the things to do is make sure there's a password on your phone that is locked up. So a PIN. A PIN number. Okay. That's right. Which most people have right here. That's the, uh, the four-digit PIN, I'm assuming. The, right. Mine's a 1111. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nobody steal that PIN. No, that's very important. It's highly secure. <laughs> also, you say uh, only download mobile banking and payment from a reputable source. Yes. Yeah, well, that's right. And, and it's sometimes hard to know. We've seen in some stories recently that uh, in the app stores there are um, malicious or fake apps. And so if you're not sure what you're downloading, one of the best things to do is to call your bank and ask them uh, which is the right app to, to download and put on your phone. Now, if, if you get into that situation, especially on your computer, there are softwares that you can purchase, anti-malware softwares. Can you guys touch upon that a little bit, what people at home can do with those? Well, I think people need to be aware of uh, what each of those can do. They need to find out what it, what it will defend against and see if it meets their particular need. Okay. What, what are some other tips in, in these situations? You, you guys talk about uh, in installing the, the malware and also monitoring your transactions. This is important because oftentimes now, especially with credit cards, we're mm -hmm. using our credit cards everywhere, so it can be a little overwhelming to go through all these statements, but you're, you're saying you really should be checking them. You should, especially uh, check after you've made a purchase online with a debit card or you've made ATM withdrawal. Check it right after that just to be sure that is a transaction that has occurred. I ideally, you like to check it every day just to be sure that what has happened is what you yourself uh, did. Bruce, if, if something like this does happen, say uh, you, you are attacked through some type of malware or somebody does take your identity or, or money through your phone, what are some of the steps that people should be taking at home uh, to, to resolve this? Well, one of the first things you should do, even if you're unsure if something's happened, is you can call us, the, the Department of Banking. Uh, our number is 800-831-7225, uh, and we'll be able to walk you through all of the steps you might need to take. Now, okay. some of those steps would include perhaps calling the police and, and filing a police report. Uh, you could certainly uh, call the issuer, that's the bank on your credit card, okay. uh, or your bank account, and um, uh, or the Federal Trade Commission. Very good. Thank you both so much for joining us here today on CT Style. Of course, for more information, head on over to aarp.org slash fraudwatchnetwork. It's great work that both of you are doing, so thank you very much for that.